Yes, hello everyone. I'll make a small kind of um, video series on first how to create a quick game. And then I'll make another video about how to collaborate on this game. And then in the end, I'll show how we can get uh, the game that we created uh, online. But first, uh, we'll create our small game. And um, yeah, let's, let's just uh, get to it. Uh, here I am on, uh, on GitHub. So let's first create the repository name. Um, so you might uh, be working multiple people on this. And then of course you only work, uh, you have one repository where you add code to that repository. Um, space infinity. Yes. I want to create a game where I can, um, it's basically just the longer you hold down space, the more points you get. And then you get a point every second, right? So it's just about pretty much holding down the space button. Okay. And I think like this is, this can be definitely seen as a, uh, as a game. So, uh, so let's try and make it and see how we get to that. I'm gonna be making it in HTML and uh, JavaScript and CSS. Maybe not CSS part, but uh, at least the uh, HTML and JavaScript. Okay, I've created my uh, GitHub repository. Now I will go and um, close down the repository. So let's clone it down. Yes, let's jump into that and get a Visual Studio Code going. Mm. Apparently didn't open up this one. I'll just find it here. Space Infinity, open with code. Yes, now I have my uh, empty folder here. So I will create a new file called index.html. And then I will just do a new one as well called index.js. I will log out. Script initiated and then here I will script source index.js then I will just write my h1 say space infinity. Yes. Um, let's open this with live server. <clears throat> and let's see if we are seeing script initiated. Okay, uh, I just want to get this to the bottom here. Okay, cool. So, um, as I said, the game that I wanted to create is a game where you press space and then the longer you hold it, the more points you will get. So, I think there are two very essential things that I need to figure out. Uh, one is I need to figure out when the space bar is pressed down. And then the other one is figuring out when it is uh, kind of being lifted again. Um, and that's probably the most important functionality of the site. So I'll start with figuring out how to do that. So let's see. Space. Or maybe I could do it. Ah, let's just do space. Space JS hmm. down, maybe. Let's not do the. Why is there no up and down in space? <laughs> 
Let's do this JavaScript. JavaScript event triggered by pressing space. That could sound like the right thing. Uh -oh. When you see this, it means that it's uh, we're doing something with jQuery and we don't want to do that. So maybe we can do like minus jQuery. Um, no, let's just do key JavaScript down, no jQuery. Event maybe. Probably down is like a key down event. This sounds interesting. The key down event is fired when a key is pressed. Okay. So let's just try and do something like this. Uh, document add event listener. And we want to listen for this. And then we want to run this. Space key down. Oh no, not space key down. This is just any key down, I guess. So we need to figure out how to do the Hmm. It says key down here. Ah, okay, yeah. So now you can see that uh, this is actually working when I press space. It's counting up. Um, so now I just need to get, I want to figure out like, is it space that has been pushed or is it some other key? So let's try and log out. I know when I do an add event listener, you get the event here. So I'm sure there's like an event dot something like key code or something along those lines, but let's do event. Oops, oops. Let's just try and log it out and see what we get here. Um, no, dot code space dot key code 32. I like this one dot code. I know that these events on different browsers can have problems. So maybe code doesn't work on, for example, Safari or Chrome. I don't really worry about that now. So, okay. So now I can say if uh, the code, my event code is equal to space with an uppercase, which is like a little bit weird, then I can do space key down. Let's see if that works. So it says space first, because here we're logging out the code. We don't want to see that. Space, yes. And if I press any of the other keys, nothing shows up. Okay, nice. So now I'm guessing if there's key down, there's probably key up. Uh, so let's see that. Yes. Okay, nice, key down, and then I release now, and it does key up. Um, one thing that's worth mentioning is that as I'm holding it down, it actually fires each time, which is like a little bit weird, but it, it, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but it's just worth kind of keeping a track on that this function is actually called like all the time when you hold it down. Okay. Um, so now I want to figure out um, every time that um, we press down the key, we want to be having a counter that runs every second. Okay. Um, so I want to have something that runs every second. That's set timer. And then I give thousand in milliseconds here. 
so I can do like um, called every second. So let's see how that looks. Called every second. Du, 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 it's only called once. Oh yeah, it's not set. It's set interval. Whoops. Set interval with thousand milliseconds. Yeah, so we see this is called every second. Now there are lots of different ways to do this thing where you where you kind of save the score. Um, so it's not that you can do this lots of different ways. I'll just kind of do it the way that uh, that makes sense for me. Okay, so we now have um, this that is being called every second and we know when the space bars up and we know when the space bars down. Okay, then I think the last thing that I need is kind of a counter, you could say points. Okay, should start at zero. Okay. Um, then when we press space down, um, let's get points down here. Okay. So what we need to check here every time we, we, every second, right? Then we need to write some code that is kind of like this, right? If the space bar is held down okay this is not real code this is just like you call it pseudo code okay if the real if the space bar is held down then we want to increment points by one right because this is called every second so we check every second we check is the space bar being held down if it is then we increment it by one point and then we say here if not if not then we want to say points uh, is equal to zero okay when we if we've had hold down our space bar for 10 minutes then when we release we count back to zero again it doesn't start counting down okay so let's write this code. If some kind of Boolean, let's say um, space bar down, space bar, should that be one more? space bar down? Okay. Then we say points plus plus. Plus plus is like say equal points plus one it's like a shortcut else uh, beep, 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 beep. else points is equal to zero okay now the only thing that i need is to define this variable here this is a boolean so if this is true do this if it's false do this okay so i can actually just say up here const space bar down let's just set it to false to begin with and then when the space bar is pressed down then we set this to true and when this key is up, when the space is up, we set it to false. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then here we can uh, log out the points. Invalid assignment to const points. Okay. So what does that mean? On call type error, invalid assignment to const points. It's, it's saying that uh, I have defined points as a constant, meaning that I cannot change it, or at least that's what I've indicated. But actually, I want to be able to change points. So 
Therefore, I need to change it to let. This is kind of a good tactic for when you're uh, defining variables. Always define it as a const until it won't let you. <laughs> yeah. Um, because then, you know, you define everything as, as uh, const, then you run into these errors, and then, um, then you just say, oh, I actually needed to change points, so then I'll change it back to let. Um, so let's try and see what happens now. Uh oh. Uh, on call type error, invalid assignment to const, spacebar down. Okay. So this is also a spacebar, but I'm actually changing it here, meaning that this should be a. Uh, this should be lit. Okay. It looks like it's working, right? So now it's like one, two, three when I'm holding it down and then I release and then it says zero. Um, so let's get rid of this. So you could, you could kind of say that this is a game now, right? But not a lot of users will be able to go to the console and see their points, right? So it's probably better that we add this to HTML. So let's do like a span and then say um, your points are, um, should I do like, you know what I'm gonna do a div and then I'll do a span. And maybe I'll give this a class name of class. Then I will quickly say in that point, point span equals document query selector. Bang dot points. Let's see if, if we have it. Null. Mm -hmm. Span class points. Uh, span dot points. Oh yeah, this is like, this is a classic. Uh, it's because the JavaScript actually runs before the, the tag is put into HTML. So we need to put it before the closing tag. This is a little bit weird, but uh, yeah. Okay, so now we see that we have it here and it's kind of found the, the right spot. So, now we can do this. Point span dot inner HTML equals points. Yay. And it would maybe be nice because um, would probably, you know, do this multiple places. Um, so therefore, it would maybe be nice with like render points to create a function for this. Whoops. Oh, ah, yes. So I send in the points and it renders the point. Then here I can say render points. One, two, three, four. Yes, let's um, just do like C 
you go here and then when I start holding down the spacebar and the last thing that would be nice is just like kind of a small description hold the space space bar to get more points okay the thing is now that when i release here it takes a little bit of time before it is actually changed so this could be like a um, oh i can even cheat it i can release it quickly and then go back so release quickly and go back and that's because um, this is run every second okay so if I release and then I put it down before the second is over, then it's just going to think that it was kind of down all the time, right? But it was actually not. So this is maybe not the, the best point. Like we could say that hmm, um, maybe we want to like reset the points here, for example. Oops. So now I say when when it is lifted, it'll get to zero. So I hold it down, and it and uh, immediately it is come down to zero. But it's actually first rendered later on. So you see now comes kind of uh, all the different uh, cases of this. So maybe then I want to uh, set the the points to zero, and then I want to render them. So let's see if that is better. Yeah, so now it's like immediately. Anyways, that's like optimizations. But you see, this is this. Uh, what what this, did this take me? Uh, okay, 20, 20, 21 minutes. Uh, and I know I've been doing this a lot of times. So I'm I'm not saying this is easy. This would probably take some 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 time. But um, but you know you can make a, a game as simple as you want. So. Um, so yes, now we've created the game, then I'm going to create a, a new um, video where I show a little bit on how to collaborate if you're multiple people on a game like this. Yes, cool.